Hey guys, Felix here. Welcome back to part three of the uh, externally cooled monoblock case design and build series. So the last couple of episodes uh, have been a bit repetitive, I, I do get that. So the first one we made this prototype, plywood and 3D printed bits. Then the second one we made this almost identical looking but much more accurate prototype, also plywood and 3D printed bits. Uh, now before we make the machined case, um, there's a couple of tweaks we need to do to the design, so I'm just going to take you through those now. So the first change that we've made is moving the pump from this position uh, back by around a centimetre, just so it's closer to this wall. And that will allow a bit more space here to potentially fit uh, something like an 80 millimetre case fan. Um, and there's just, there's no need to have the pump here when we can have it here. Just leaves more space for everything else. So that's one change. And the other change is when there's two copper pipes in the inlet and outlet ports, there's no way to kind of clamp them in position. So I have added a threaded hole here and that'll just allow us to create some kind of clamp that will hold the, the two pipes in place there. So now it's just a case of taking each of these components separately, producing a technical drawing for each one, which we'll then send to our machinist to uh, machine this prototype from aluminium. So here we are, uh, however many weeks later, and we've had a very exciting delivery today. Machined aluminium. So our machinist, uh, well up in Manchester, has done a pretty awesome job with these. And because Dean isn't here today, I kind of want to build the entire PC without him knowing. and. Uh, maybe surprise him, maybe get his first reaction on film or something like that. Um, but before that, this isn't the only new thing we've got. Do you remember the pump top? So this was the 3D printed uh, plastic pump top that we designed. So our machinists over in Wales, a couple of guys called Mike and Nathan, uh, really talented machinists, they have turned this into this beautiful shiny thing. This is fairly raw off the machine, uh, but you can see the quality of the machining there, how shiny it is. I've given it a quick polish, but I haven't lapped it or anything. So you've got a few machining marks left on there. But yeah, really, really nice pump top. And that combined with aluminium, I think this is gonna look awesome. So I can't wait to start building it. Let's do it. So this piece here is the base of the case. It's a five mil thick plate. And this is the bit with all the holes to mount everything to. So when it's kind of laid out in the console layout, all those holes will be hidden because they'll be on the bottom of the case. And then we got the side bits over here out of frame and then this will sit on top. So we need to start mounting things. So I'm gonna do the uh, pump and power supply first. So the power supply uses these two little machined pieces here and these are going to bolt onto here like this and then they've got a nice big threaded hole in the bottom and that'll bolt through with these two big holes up here, M6. Okay, so that's the power supply mounted. Measurements were perfect, it fits perfectly, so that's great. So I'm gonna build up the pump next. I'm not gonna have the internals in the pump because we're just, this is kind of like a mock-up um, assembly. So we've got our base. And the 
original assembly screws have M4 threads in the base. So once this is together, this will just be bolted through this piece of aluminium. And that fit perfectly as well. It's going very well so far. So now it's time to attach the motherboard and the monoblock. So we've got the back plate first. Okay, it's all going suspiciously well so far. I love the look of the aluminium, copper and brass combination. To me that just looks so cool. I don't know what you guys think. So, motherboard on. And that looks to line up perfectly. And then the monoblock. Right, then we got the graphics card and the back plate. Right, that is all nice and tight and mounted to the base. That's heavy, look at that though. That's so cool. I don't know what it is, just stuff made from big chunks of metal. It's just my kind of thing. So next up is to put the, like the sides and the front of the case on. So we got this big piece here, goes along the back like this. And then we got these two pieces that if I've measured everything correctly, should perfectly fit around the motherboard. Yeah. Oh my God, it's perfect. This was the bit I was worried about because it's so hard to measure exactly where the motherboard is in relation to the four little screws in the middle of the bottom plate that the monoblock mounts to. And these look like they fit perfectly. So I am gonna flip it over and I'll tighten them up from the other side. heavy. And I'm using cap head screws here which are going to double as little feet at the bottom. And then on the top, I have countersunk brass slotted screws. I hate slotted screws as much as anyone else does, but they just look better. To me, anyway. And here it is. So, minus plumbing and wiring, it's a fully assembled PC. I think it looks great. So that's one side, then we've got the rear I.O. That looks like that. And we would have copper pipes just poking out of there. And once we've plumbed this in, we're gonna do it all copper. So you're gonna see the copper pipes running along here, going down through this gap. And that's all you'd see on this side as well. The storm's going a bit crazy outside. Uh, and I think that I could stand on this. I'm a bit hesitant to because there's several thousand pounds worth of stuff in there. Now I'm gonna do it.
Is this a stupid idea? Yeah, I don't care. I'm doing it. There you go. That's a strong ass case. So this, this has all gone quite well. Um, I've just given Dean a call and I'm not going to be able to see him for another week or so. We live quite far apart. Um, so you're not going to see his reaction to this in this video. But next week at some point we will be together. We'll see what he thinks of this and then we will work together on plumbing and wiring it. It's, it's heavy. But I think this looks awesome. It's not to everyone's taste, it's quite industrial, quite unfinished to some people maybe. But we do like bare metal more than painted or anodized metal. And you can really see kind of the quality of the manufacturing. Um, there's machine marks on here. That's what all these marks are. They're from the machine. We haven't quite decided what the final finish will be, but we're thinking we'll probably just polish this up. Use some fine sandpaper to remove the marks, then mirror polish it. We'll have a beautiful shiny case. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully this kind of demonstrates why we had to do so much work in the first couple of episodes, which was possibly not the most riveting thing to watch, but that's all part of the design and product development process. Uh, and it's really shown here why that's necessary. And uh, yeah, super chuffed with this. We'll see you next time uh, where it should be me and Dean together and we'll plumb it, uh, wire it in, and then have a working PC. Well, no, we need a radiator first. We'll think about that. Take care, guys.